off with our dumbbells. So come on up to standing. We're gonna grab onto our dumbbells, whatever weight you have, nine or 10, you can have anywhere between five or 10. We're gonna use, we're gonna do biceps right now. So you might wanna go for the heavier ones. It's 90 degrees and humid here right now. I can feel my dumbbells slipping around in my hands. I hope I don't drop them. Try it to feel bad for me, I know. Soften the knees, navels in. Of course, your pelvic floor is engaged. We're gonna roll the shoulders down and back and let's get warmed up with some biceps here. We're just gonna do a regular biceps curl. Now for our biceps curls, I want you to take the thumb to the shoulder and then tap the front of the leg. Tap the shoulder, tap the front of the leg. Both arms at the same time, but soften those knees, press the heels and take your feet just a little bit further apart. Take your feet just a little bit further than hip width apart. And now let's pick that pace up. Nice, strong, strong curls. Beautiful, good. Of course, your belly button's in and your pelvic floor is engaged. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, beautiful, six, five, four, three, two, and one more time here. Now palms face me, palms face me, chest stays lifted. Let's keep on going with biceps curls. You know that I love biceps curls. We could do them the entire class and I'd be very happy, but you might get bored. So we won't, we won't do that, I promise. So again, knees nice and soft, touch the shoulders, touch the legs, body's not moving at all. So your body is gonna try to hinge forward as you open up the arms. Don't let that happen. Keep the chest lifted. All right, let's do 10, nine, soften those knees, soften those knees, get low. Seven, beautiful, six, feel the power when you do that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold them up here. Let's hold them up, get nice and soft. Are you starting to warm up? From here, we're gonna take it down 90 degrees. We're gonna pulse it three, two, one. Take it all the way up, pulse it three, two. So when you take it down and pulse it, you're only going 90 degrees. It's three, two, one. Take it all the way up, beautiful. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You can open the fingers a little bit so you're not gripping onto the dumbbells for dear life. Belly buttons in, one, two, three, make sure that you're breathing guys. One, two, three, and lift. Yes, one, two, three, all the way up. Pulse, pulse, we'll do this one more time. Now we're gonna take it down, we're gonna hold it down, open the fingers, wiggle them around 90 degrees here. Just a nice little pulse, nice little pulse. So from here, it's just an inch up and an inch down. Your elbows stay tucked into the sides, that's good. Now, is your belly button in? Let's do 20, 19, that's okay, that's okay. Now remember, if these get too heavy, that's what your little yellow balls are light away to four. It's eight, seven, I just made that up, six, five, I really have no idea how many we're supposed to do, two and one. Now hold it here, hold it here. 90 degrees, let's just do this one thing. Take it all the way up slow. And then as slowly as you can, we're gonna take it all the way down, palms face away. Soften the knees, roll the shoulders down and back and lift the top of the head up to the ceiling, perfect. Now just the right arm, cross it over the chest. Cross it over the chest. And I promise we won't do these in your workout tomorrow, I promise. All the way up and right back down, cross it over, good. Soften those knees again. Can you feel how the body wants to straighten out the legs? It wants to rely on the bones to hold you up, but we want the muscles to support you here, good. Cross and open again, soften those knees, take your weight, make sure it's even in the feet. Don't let the feet roll into the, to the middle. Good, it's seven six, shoulders down and back, five. Can you start to feel that nice warm feeling in the biceps, four? Can you feel that, Julie? She said yes. All right, we did an extra one here. And now let's switch to the left, just curl and open. Now soften those knees again, soften those knees again, get nice and low, press those heels into the mat, curl and open, good, exhale. Inhale, so just like in Pilates, we need to use our breath and open, curl it up and center, beautiful, good. 
Do you feel nice and stable, nice and strong, maybe nice and warm? We have eight, seven, six, five. Good, that's good. And our last four, three, two, and one. Good. From here, palms face you. Palms face you. Last but not least with the biceps for now, we're just going to take the right arm, curl it up and open. Touch the shoulder, touch the leg. It's just the right arm here. Elbow stays tucked. And of course, we're still focused on standing nice and tall and keeping the chest lifted, especially on the way down. Soften those knees again. You've got it up and open up. We'll do two more like this, two. And now can we pick that pace up a little bit? Just up, open, up, open, nice and quick as you can without losing the form. Keep the chest lifted nice and tall. We just have four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, let's switch to the other side. Are you ready? We're almost done with these cute little things. Curl and open. Left arm good. Knees are soft, navels in, strong arms. I believe it's tank top season. So we might as well keep working on our arms. We just have two. And now are you ready? Pick that pace up nice and quick. Just up and open, up and open. As you open, don't let the chest hinge forward. You're really working to stay up nice and tall. It's eight, seven, six, five. Looks great. Four, three, two, and one. Open all the way up. Good. Let the weights pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. And then we're going to let the head roll down and around. And we'll take the left ear to the left shoulder. And then the head comes up center. Now, from here, let's all turn sideways so I can get a side profile of you. Now soften the knees, your back is very long. I want you to hinge forward. You're pressing your tailbone out back behind you. The sternum is, is facing the floor here. Come on down a little bit further so I could almost put my cup of water on you and it wouldn't spill. Now palms face away. We're just gonna roll, squeeze through the back. Squeeze through the back. Your palms are facing away. I need the knees bent and the back is nice and long. Draw the navel in. Lengthen out through the spine. The back is long and straight. Good, perfect. Keep on going, guys. I just have to move my little square here so I can see Barbara's perfect back. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Curl and open, navels in. Can you feel that upper back warming up, waking up? Your palms face away. Demetra, are you sure you didn't miss because we were doing biceps? Did you make this appointment last minute? Let's go for 10, nine. You know, guys, Demetra hates working biceps. It's her least favorite thing to do. And when I sent that out on Instagram this morning that we were doing biceps, like 10 minutes later, she messaged me and said, oh, I can't make it, guys. I have a meeting with Michael. So I think she scheduled it when she found out we were doing biceps. Three, two, and one. Good. Now from here, we're going to roll all the way up just for a second. Nice and tall. And then from here, we're going to place the weights down, hop it out into plank position. But then don't worry, we're going to come right down to the knees. We only have the weight. Pick a hand. It doesn't matter what hand it's in. So chest is out over. Your palm faces you. So your palm is facing your thigh here. Let's take the back nice and long. We're going to do one push up. I'm going to take it up to this row here. Palm faces you. It's down. Press. Palm faces back behind you towards the toes. Inhale. Press. Squeeze up right through the back. That's it. Down. Press. Of course, if you want to do this on your toes, you can. But let's go for that full range of motion. Bring your chest out over so your body is a nice straight line. Is your belly button in? Down. Press. Squeeze. Good. That's beautiful. Inhale, exhale. I hear you laughing. You must be having fun. So it's four. Press and squeeze through that back. Yes, three. Press, take it up good, nice and strong. Two, press and squeeze. And one last time, strong push up. Squeeze through the back. And let's pull it back into a shell stretch. 
And now let's take it right back up here and let's switch hands. So switch to the other hand, whatever hand it may be. Chest is out over, navel's in, and let's do our push up. So it's down, press, squeeze up through that shoulder blade. Inhale, exhale, squeeze it up, good. Inhale, down, press, and lift it up, beautiful. Using your breath, good, looks good. Is your chest out over the hands? Is your back nice and long? We just have four guys, so it's four. Press and squeeze it up. Then it's three, press, squeeze through the back, beautiful. Two, press, and one last time, down, press, and squeeze. And now let's pull it all the way back into our shell stretch here. Good, perfect. Now from here, we're going to switch to the other side. So place your weight back in the other hand, the hand you started with. Let's take it up to plank position. Now, if at any point in time you're not comfortable in plank position, you're gonna come down to the knees. Make sure that you have no stress in your back. Make sure that you feel nice and stable. I'm just going to row it up and tap the mat. Row it up and tap the mat. Just row and tap. Good, exhale up, beautiful. Maintain that straight line. Add that breath in, pull that shoulder blade in toward the center of the back. Now it looks really good. Let's go for eight and tap, seven and tap, six and tap. Good, just four more here, four, three, two, and one last time. Place the dumbbell down, pull it back into a shell stretch. Good, from here, Let's exhale up to plank position. We're gonna go into the other side in just a second, but let's try something fun for now. So for now, we're gonna do an inchworm. We're gonna walk it up one, two, and three. Now we're gonna take it out one, two, and three. Right arm, reach it out long. Left arm, reach it out long, okay? So we'll walk it up one, two, three. Walk it back one, two, three. Right arm, reach it out and center, left arm, reach it out, and center, perfect. One, two, three, take it out, one, two, three, right arm, reach, and center, left arm, reach. We'll do this two more times, you ready? Walk it up, one, two, three, good, that's beautiful. One, two, three, right arm lengthen out, and left arm lengthen out, and now take it up, one, two, three, and back to a straight line. Right arm lift and center, left arm lift. Last time here, take it up to that down dog. Did I give us an extra? I don't know. It was a gift if it is. Reach and center, reach. Let's take it center. Let's pull it back into a shell stretch. And now let's take it out and let's grab onto our dumbbell in the other hand. So chest is out over. If you're stable and comfortable in plank, come on up to plank here. And let's go ahead with our row. Just row it up and tap the mat. Row it up and tap. Good, exhale, inhale, perfect. Belly button's in, chest is over. Row and tap that center, row it up and tap. We have four, three, two, and one, good. Let's pull it back into our shell stretch. And now let's roll it up and let's grab a quick sip of water. Quick little sip. And then I have wonderful news. Can anyone guess what that wonderful news is? I bet you can, Holly. Yes, we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do it one more time because that's what we do. We do everything one more time. Uh-huh. You're not kidding, Julie. Guys, Julie was just saying how amazing she's gonna look in her tank top. It's true, it's true. All right, so here we are. We have our dumbbells, shoulders rolled down and back. More importantly, 
The great news here is that you're going to look amazing in your tank top. People are going to be intimidated by your muscles, so they're not going to get too close to you. And when you load up that cooler and all those beach chairs and that huge stack of books that you're going to bring to the beach, it's going to be so easy for you to heft that stuff up. Now, take a second here. Make sure that you touch the shoulders, touch the legs, touch the shoulders, touch the legs. Try not to let the chest come down. If you feel like you're losing control, if you feel like you can't really open the arms without letting the chest come down a little bit, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That just means we want to grab lighter weights. There's nothing wrong at all with grabbing lighter weights. It just helps us to stay within that full range of motion. So we'll do eight, seven. It's okay. We have five pound weights over there. It's okay. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay. Now from here, we're just going to do a little biceps curl tutorial. It'll serve as a break. So you're going to like this. So when we curl up and then we open, our body wants to bring the weights back behind us. So if you think about and feel what's happening, if you curl up, your body wants to go back down, curl up and back down. Why? Because we're adding momentum in and we're swinging these weights around and it makes it so much easier to get these silly things up to our shoulders. If we stop at the front of the legs yet extend the arms, our poor little biceps have to work so hard to get them back up. So you'll feel they don't wanna do that. So that's why we stop at the legs. So really make sure and check, make sure you're stopping at the legs and then all the way up. Are you ready? So now palms face me. Let's open and curl, open and curl. Is everybody having fun? And is everyone's belly button in? Open and curl it up. Good, looks good. Keep those shoulders down and back. So squeeze up through the upper back. Beautiful. We have eight and up, seven and up. Remember, little yellow balls are okay. Use whatever weight works for you. Four and lift, three and lift. That's excellent. Two and up and one last time. Take it up. Now from here, let's take it halfway down. Halfway and all the way up. Halfway, all the way up. Inhale, exhale. That is perfect. Open and lift. Open and lift. Navels in, pelvic floors. Good. That's beautiful. Barbara, how many of these do you think we should do? All right. It's six and curl, five and curl, four. That's a good safe number. Two and all right, now let's take it 90 degrees. Make sure those upper, I'm sorry, make sure those forearms are parallel to the floor. Let's pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up. Nice little pulses here. Good, looks good. Nice, strong, strong biceps pulse at eight, seven, just an inch up and an inch down. Four, three, two. Now listen, take it all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Now take it down as slowly, slowly, slowly as you can. Ah, all right, take a second. Let the weight of the weights pull the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. And let's just let the head roll down and around and the left ear to the left shoulder, beautiful. And now the head comes up center. Let's take the right arm. We're gonna take it across and open. Take it across and open. Good, that's good. So remember when you open, don't let that hand swing back behind. Stop at the thigh, curl it up, stop at the thigh. It's amazing difference a little centimeter can make in our movement. Isn't that amazing, guys? Let's do eight more here. So eight and open, seven and open, navel six. Good, that's beautiful. And four more here, four, three, two, and one slowly, slowly take it all the way open. And now let's switch to the other side. So left arm, take it across, tap the leg. Take it across, tap the leg. Good, really controlling it. Keep the elbow tucked. And so as you take it up, 
You don't want the elbow to come out in front of you because then you're working your shoulder. We'll get to that next week. This week, let's think about biceps curl and open. Elbow stays tucked into the side. Recheck navels in, nice strong center, six, five, four, trace, dose, and uno. Good, let's open all the way up. Just shake it out a little bit. Great, great work, guys. Now we have the right arm. Curl it up and tap. So we're doing a hammer curl here. Just nice, easy, single arm hammer curl. Good, that's good curl and open. Nancy, you would be so proud if you could see how much I'm sweating right now. You wouldn't even believe it. I'm telling you. All right, we have two. And now let's pick this pace up as quick as we can. It's up and open, up and open, all the way up, nice and quick. Eight, seven, navel, six, five, four, three, two and yes nice work guys again great news we have a left arm so we get to do this again are you ready just up and open nice gentle pace here while we go ahead and work on our form good nice and stable form is perfected so we have two and now we get to pick that pace up Lift and open, lift and open. Remember to stick with a pace that you have control over. Here's our eight. Breathe, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Open it up slowly. Shake out the shoulders. Once again, while we're here, shoulders down and back. Just take the right ear to the right shoulder and let the head roll down and around. And we'll take the left ear to the left shoulder. Head comes up center. So far so good? Good. So now from here, back is long and straight. Navel's in, palms face us. Palms are facing your legs, are resting on them. Back stays long, knees are soft. Good, let's go ahead and row it up and right back down, exhale up, inhale down, squeezing up through that upper back, nice and strong. Exhale, pull and open, good. Breathe it up, palms are facing you, nice and wide. Upper back, very strong here, navel's in. Exhale, pull and open, pull and open. Good, here's our last eight here, so it's eight and center, seven and center, six, five beautiful keep that back long and straight lift that chest out press that tailbone out i think we have two and one good from here let's roll all the way up <sighs> you ready let's fold ourselves in half and then we're going to take it out right down to the hands and knees we only need a weight in one hand here palm still faces you so we're gonna do that same row, nice wide row. Palm is facing you, chest is out over. Let's go ahead and do a push up here. It's inhale, press, row it up. Take it down, press, row it up. Good, that's good. As you do your push up, keep the chest out over, keep the belly button in, down, press, row, squeeze, nice and strong, beautiful, down, press, and row it up. Inhale, exhale, here's our last four guys. So it's four, press, squeeze through that back. Three, press and squeeze, good. Back is long, two, press and squeeze it up. And last one, press, squeeze it up. Let's take it center. And let's pull it right back into our shell stretch. And now let's exhale up. Again, long back, let's just switch hands here. So our chest is out over, back is nice and long. Lengthen out through the back here. Good, create that long line, palm faces you. Palm faces you, good, and let's do a push up. It's down, press, squeeze up through that back. So nice wide row here, good. Let your breath help you, let your center stabilize you, inhale press, squeeze it up, beautiful. 
nice full range of motion. Enjoy these push-ups, guys. Down, press. Here's our last six like this. You've got it. Six, press and squeeze it up. And then we have five, press, squeeze it up. Perfect. Four, press and squeeze. Last three, press and squeeze. Good, here's our two. And then we just have one more. We can do one of anything. And guys, let's pull it back into our shell stretch. Looks beautiful, nice work. Drop the head here. And now as we exhale, we'll take it out first, hands and knees. We're going to switch so the dumbbell is right back in the hand we started off in. Probably in your right hand. We'll take it back up to plank position. All right, now remember, if you're on your knees, that's okay. It's always okay to stay on the knees. If you feel comfortable and stable in plank, come on up here, just row it up and tap. Row it up and tap. Exhale, inhale, press forward, keep that chest out over, squeeze through that back. And here's our eight, guys, navels in eight, seven, are you breathing? Six, five, beautiful, looks good, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, pull it back. We'll place the weight to the side for now. We'll drop the head. Is anyone else sweating? Barbara, are you sweating? Oh, good. Okay, let's come on out. Plank position here, navels in. And now from here, what we do is we walk it in. One, two, three, and walk it out. One, two, three, reach it out right and center, left, then take it in. One, two, three, and walk it out. One, two, three, take it out right and center, left and center, good, up two, three, take it back, nice, strong, straight, beautiful line, reach it straight out in front of you, out in front of you, two more, one, two, three, take it out, one, two, three, take it out, right, and left, and last time here, take it up, two, three, take it out, one, two, three, reach it up, and up, all right, pull it back into your shell stretch. All the way back. Yeah, take a rest. You can take a rest now. That was extra points. As we exhale, let's come on back up. Now we're gonna switch hands. I'm just going to switch directions on the mat so I can see you guys better. If you want to stay on the knees, if you belong on the knees, stay here. If you belong on the toes and you have full control, come on up on the toes. Are you ready for your row? We'll just row and tap, row and tap. So staying nice and stable in that straight line. Bring your chest out over. Bring your chest out over a little bit. Push your body forward just a little bit more. It's eight. Yes, that's it. Seven, good. Six, five, maintain that straight line. Four, three, two, and one. Place the weight down. Pull it back into your shell stretch. And as we exhale, we're just going to roll it up to kneeling. All right, well, I have bad news. We don't get to do that again. We only get to repeat it once. The good news though, is that we do have another set queued up for us. So grab a quick little sip of water and we'll come back to standing with our dumbbells. Of course you can do this. And we really have like 12 minutes left before we get down and do one set of abs. We can do anything for 12 minutes, right guys? All right, so while we're here, let's roll our shoulders down and back, top of the head up to the ceiling. Right arm, I want you to take it, hold it 90 degrees. So right arm is 90 degrees. We're gonna hold it here. We're not gonna let it move. Left arm hammer curl up and open. So touch the shoulder, touch the leg, soften the knees, 
draw the navel in so the body is nice and stable. Feel the glutes engage, feel the center engage, and then feel the biceps work. Good. So it's lift and open, lift and open. Nice job keeping that chest lifted. That's beautiful. Let's go for eight, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, two, and one. Now both arms open all the way up. Roll the shoulders down and back. Now from here, if you remember last set, we did all the way up halfway down. This set, we're gonna do halfway up to 90 degrees and then all the way open. Halfway up, all the way open. Halfway up, all the way open. So body stable, take it up, but stop at 90 degrees. Good, up and halfway down. Keep the elbows tucked, belly button in, exhale. Inhale, Julie, how many do you wanna do? Six and open, it's the number of the night. Four and open, three, don't let them swing back. Two, tap those legs and one more time, open all the way up. Let's lengthen up tall, shake out those shoulders. We're almost done with our biceps. So now we're gonna take the left arm 90 degrees, hold it here 90 degrees, and then right arm all the way up, all the way open, tap the shoulder, tap the leg tap the shoulder, tap the leg, up and open. Good, so keep that left arm 90 degrees, right arm full range of motion. Feel those biceps popping, they're getting so strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four, trace, dose, and uno. We'll open all the way up. Nice, nice work, guys. Let's go ahead and place the weight down in our left arm. We're just gonna keep our weight in our right arm here. I want you to move to a lighter weight. If it's a five, if it's a three, whatever it is, move to a lighter weight here. I'd like you to take your left leg forward, right leg back. You're going to take your left forearm on your left leg. Your back is long and straight. So you're not doing one of these. Your back is long and straight, perfect. Now from here, we're gonna take this right arm out like an airplane wing. Squeeze it out like an airplane wing. Exhale out, inhale center. Grab a little yellow ball, that's okay. Exhale out and center. Keep that navel in good, that's good. Back is long and nice strong upper back. Here we go, just a few more. Exhale out and center, good. Breathe it out and center. And last four, so it's four, three, two, and one, good. Let's place this weight down. Don't worry, we'll do the other side. I promise we won't leave crooked. Come on to the end of your mat. Right to the end of the mat, we'll come on up tall, Start from the top of the head and we're going to fold ourselves in half. We're going to walk ourselves out into a plank position. All right, so now we're in plank position. We're feeling strong and fabulous. We're gonna take our right arm out, our left arm out, our right foot out, our left foot out. Now we're in a wide star plank. We're gonna press forward and back for four and center, three and center two and center now walk it in walk it in so it's right hand in left hand in right foot in left foot in press it forward for four three two and one now take it out so we'll take it out right hand left hand right foot left foot straighten out hold on a second straighten out straighten out that line so like a piece of plywood good press it forward four and center three and center, good, two and center and one. Now take it in, it's right, left, right. Now last four, push it forward, four, three, two and one. Pull it all the way back, all the way back. Good, now as we exhale, let's roll it all the way up. We'll come up to standing and then we'll grab onto that dumbbell in the left hand. Grab onto your dumbbell in your left hand. Now we're gonna take the right foot forward, left foot back, right forearm 
on the right thigh. Back is long and straight, so check with the back. You're not rounding out. Your back is long and straight. Nancy, I'm dripping on my mat. Record this moment. Remember it forever. <laughs> okay, navel's in. Let's go ahead, take it out and center. Take it out and center. So this left arm comes out like an airplane wing. Now, when it comes out, it only comes out to parallel to the floor. It's not way up. It's just out parallel. Take it out parallel. Good. We have six, five, four, trace. Good. Dose and uno. Excellent. From here, we're going to step forward. We're going to roll it all the way up. Come on center and switch hands. I have terrible, terrible news. We don't have time to repeat this. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope you'll forgive me. But we do have time for a few more things. So we're going to keep the knees soft. We're going to keep the navels in. And we're going to take the right hand on the left hip. We're just going to row it up and tap. Row it up and tap. Just pull up, squeezing your shoulder blade in towards the center of the back. Row and tap. Beautiful. Exhale. Inhale. Yes, that's perfect. Nice and strong and steady. We have eight, seven, six. I can't quite hear what you're saying, but I think what you're saying is I'm having so much fun. I never, ever want this to end, right? Okay, perfect. Just one more here. And now let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Through this class, I've had a brilliant idea. I'm going to share it with you as soon as we're done. Shoulders down and back, navels in. Are you ready, guys? Row it up and tap. Row it up and tap. Good. Squeeze through that shoulder blade. Beautiful. Row and tap. That's it. Pull the elbow up. Squeeze the shoulder blade in. Pull it up and center. Lead with the shoulder. I'm sorry. Lead with the elbow. Good. We have seven, six five, four, trace, soften those knees, dose, and uno, beautiful. All right, from here, we're going to place this weight down. Place the weight down. Let's come on down to the end of the mat again. So here we are at the end of the mat, lengthen up nice and tall from the top of the head. We're going to roll it all the way down. We're going to walk it all the way out into plank position. And then one more time here, chest is over. You ready guys? Right hand out, left hand out, right foot out, left foot out, straighten out, stabilize for a straight line, push it forward. Four, three, two, and one. Now take it in. It's right hand in, left hand in, right foot in, straight. Now stabilize. Four, three, two, and one. Take it out. It's right and left right and left straight now four three two and now take it in right and left right and left push it forward four three two and pull it all the way back into your shell stretch nice work guys let's roll it all the way up to kneeling tall here let's bring our legs around or through Good legs around or through. Let's lengthen up tall. Let's interlace the fingers, hands behind the head. And let's roll it back into an ab prep. So head and shoulders stay up off of the mat. Knees come in. Let's go ahead and tap the mat. Crunch it up. Tap the mat. Now, if you feel any stress in the back, you can do one foot at a time. Or you could just place both feet on the mat and crunch, whatever works for you. So it's tap and crunch or one foot at a time or place the feet flat on the mat and just crunch it up. Whatever works, it's eight and crunch, seven and crunch. Good, six, belly buttons in, pelvic floor is engaged. It's four, just up to tabletop, three, two, and one last time, good knees stay bent, feet stay flat on the mat, arms go up overhead. We're going to roll it up to our C-curve here. So here we are in our C-curve. 
Now the arms open all the way out, keep the arms out long and let's roll it all the way back and circle up overhead. So roll it up to the C curve, arms go out long, stabilize, keep the arms out by your sides as you roll it back and then reach it up overhead. Exhale, roll it up, lengthen out, stabilize, take it back one vertebrae at a time, reach it up, beautiful. So roll it up, lengthen out, take it back, control it, good. Lengthen up to the ceiling. We just have five, reach and take it back slowly, slowly, reach it all the way up and exhale four reach, take it back one vertebrae at a time and lengthen all the way up. Breathe for three, open those arms out long and take it back, wonderful. And last two, exhale up, breathe, reach it all the way out and articulate back. And one last time, exhale all the way up, reach it out. Let's take it back slowly, reach it up overhead, take the legs out long. Let's inhale, prepare. As we exhale, let's roll all the way up and let's reach forward towards the feet, drop the head, relax the neck and shoulders. Now, when you're ready, we're going to roll it up to sitting and we're going to stack the vertebrae one on top of the other as we bring the feet in, knees bent, hands holding on behind the thighs. Inhale, lengthen up, back is long. As we exhale, let's roll it back, drop the head, open up through the shoulder blades, through the neck. Feel that nice little stretch. You can even shift your weight right, shift your weight left, back and forth to feel the opening through the upper back. And now let's roll it all the way up, stack the vertebrae, tall, tall, tall. And let's exhale, roll it back, breathe round out through the back, drop the head. Good, we can do a nice little right and left if you'd like. And now let's take it all the way up. And let's take it center, guys. Happy Monday, everyone. Palms together. Let's take our fingertips. We're going to open them all the way out. Just feel an opening through the biceps, through the front of the chest. And now we're going to take the arms up to the ceiling. Hold on to that right forearm, pull it up and over, drop the head. And now let's take it up and hold on to the left forearm, pull it up and over, drop the head. Now lengthen all the way up. Arms come down by the sides, shoulders down and back. Just take the right ear to the right shoulder. Let the head roll down and around. And we'll take the left ear to the left shoulder. Head comes up center. All right, guys, just like the olden days, let's have our feet flat on the mat. Roll up onto the balls of our feet here. So we're right up on the balls of our feet. Press the hips up to the ceiling. Drop the head. Let the head hang. Let the spine decompress, let the arms hang, feel the back open. And now let's start with the tailbone and we're going to roll slowly all the way up. Just standing tall. Let's take a center guys. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull it center. And then one more time, we'll take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, press it away. Guys, give yourself 